everyone welcome back so today i want to do another version of this kind of color wheel where we're going to change a couple of colors i'm going to keep the blue because i don't have any other blue option but i will change these two so the primary yellow and the primary red i wonder how the weather is where you are currently and um here it's proper winter on sunday it started snowing and yesterday was monday and the schools were closed so we ended up building a snowman and it's actually really lovely because it hasn't snowed properly like this in a few years it was a lot of fun okay so i'm just going to do the same thing and i'm going to build a color wheel so what we've done here yesterday is we started with these three primaries and then build it around today i want to try something slightly different and i'm going to just leave a little bit of space above the circle because i think that way we would get a more straighter um, color wheel if that makes sense so let's try that also the two elements i have used so far they are both from my color palette stamping set it is available on at selona creates um, as is the ultimate palette there is a launch video where i spoke all about it it basically has five colors they're handmade they're vegan so if you wanted to find out more i just don't want to repeat myself because i already mentioned quite a lot of that information in the previous two videos you're more than welcome to check it out okay so now i'm going to stamp in between And that should give us another color option on each side. So these would be our secondaries. And finally just filling the gap. So you could get them perfect the more you practice. In my case you can see there's tiny little couple of millimeter gaps uh, around here and here they're just touching a little bit so the bottom is a bit more squeezed in but it's fine that's if you want to be precise anyway but you get the gist of this it can be a bit more freer as well so it's like a daisy basically okay so I've got some colors already squeezed out into the tray so I'm going to use them just to let you know if you're new on here we have got chartreuse we have got quinacridon gold deep then strawberry velvet cobalt teal which is this one and finally green gold deep which is this one here and in this color wheel we use chartreuse strawberry velvet and cobalt teal and today we're going to use green gold deep and for the red i'm going to use quinacridone gold deep and cobalt teal again okay so let's start with a bit of this cobalt teal i've got a clean tray here to mix some colors as well so yeah and uh, today the school reopened and it was uh, fun walking to school and i took a little tumble thank goodness it was just in the snow so it wasn't too much i also wore my skiing outfit <laughs> top to bottom because uh yeah it's just great i mean you don't get cold in it and it's just so lovely even still now all the roads are snowed in we had about maybe four inches of snow which is probably not that much for some countries but for uk that's a lot and um the fact that it still hasn't melted that's um 
um, sort of like you know it feels really Christmassy without snow it's just not the same so we started with green gold deep now quinacridone gold deep uh, so we're going to count three and then on the fourth I'm going to start swatching so this set I designed to be light fast so it's artist great and granulating four colors out of five are granulating so too much water here and the one that's the least granulating or not granulating at all actually is the chartreuse so that's that it can be swatched a lot deeper as you can see on this swatch Oop. right here and then I have got the blue again so the teal so these are our three primaries and now let's see what happens if we start mixing these two colors um, I'm not expecting any reds obviously in here because we don't have like a red red we have more of an orange so I'm going to build up green gold deep and just add a tiny bit not too much because this color is quite intense you could see how quickly it tinted the water so it would go in really quickly changing the color so I only need a little bit okay I think I forgot again this brush is just got a bit too much water for this size I'm going to switch or switch rather to my other brush that I do these swatches with so that would be this one here round four and it's a Princeton Neptune still holds a fair amount of water but just not too much okay so next again building up a little bit more of the quinacridon gold deep and actually this color is now a little bit too close to here probably no it's still okay so I'm just going to swatch that the difference here is quite minute because both colors on each end have a lot of yellow so you're not going to get too much diversity I'm going to add a touch more of the orange and hopefully that will be a more orange version of the previous color but not quite um, the conacrid and gold deep on its own just build it up here in the tip okay great so we've got that going on now let's start mixing these two so for that I'm going to clean the tray I'll start with the cobalt teal just making sure I have clean cobalt teal as you can see this was a little bit um, tinted by the quinacridon gold in fact it tints so quickly even just from this water uh, it tints almost like immediately okay so we're going to add a tiny bit of this color here so we're just going to get a more greener version again because this has a lot of yellow and this is a blue we're going to have a range of greens rather than purples in the secondaries as you would expect 
from a traditional color wheel. But nonetheless, I find this exercise really interesting. So that's the lovely green here. It's very therapeutic. You don't have to do these trips if you find them too like thin or long. You could do um, daisy with the petals here, so like larger petals or thinner petals, or you could just go in into the color wheel really. Okay, let's try another green, a bit more of the quinacridone gold deep, and quite a bit more. That's a good one. And that's a beautiful color. Now this color I could still push more. I could have loads more in between this previous one and this one. And I could still have a couple more before I get to the Gunacridone. So that's an option that sometimes during these sort of mixing process that I learn or pick up on. And then I realized that I want to expand a certain area. So for, for instance, this, I would then go into stamping maybe 10 different variations and try to mix and push the colors as much as possible into both directions. So next one, we're going to do these two and it's going to be again, loads of green. So what you will see on this color wheel is that there's going to be some warm, yellows and loads of greens and this is what the tray looks like right now isn't it gorgeous this is the cobble teal magic all right so let's start again with cobble teal that should be enough Bit more water and now green gold deep so I'll start with a little bit first now let's see how different these greens are going to look because we've got a variety here There's loads of lovely pigment separation going on, which I will show you uh, when it's dried. Some really beautiful uh, stuff and magic. Some really beautiful magic happening right there. Okay, a bit more of Green Gold Deep. Mm, this is a juicy green, but without being too acidic like this one. So let's see. You can also use one of those flat brushes if you find that easier to swatch a long and thin strip. So that's a good option. And I like to pull the color up onto the top here so that we have a little bit of a gradient quite like this color and now we're going to add quite a bit more of green gold deep oh that is beautiful oh my goodness this is the type of green that I really really like oh yes it glows it really glows also you will notice that there is Hardly any, if at all, color shift on these panes. And that is usually a sign of high quality pigments and artist grade watercolors. When the color dries without changing much. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so let's have a look. 
we've got loads of greens here and we've got some yellows and it's quite pretty I thought while it's drying I might as well mix up all three and see what color we get from that so we still have here obviously uh, these two colors so I'm just going to add a touch of the Conacredon Gold Deep this is something you can do with the center by the way so this is now needing a little bit more of the cobalt teal just for equal measures and that's our kind of middle ground color this would be your neutral type of a color if you had a traditional yellow red and blue you'd have something close to a black I'm just going to add a bit of water and in fact I could do the same thing here so if I was working with traditional primaries I wouldn't usually use the center because I just like bright colors to have a like a clean white center but because these are quite interesting colors actually uh, the more the merrier as we learned from this color wheel basically I started here by just using chartreuse adding a little bit Conacredon deep and then a few more mixes and then adding to that mix strawberry velvet few more mixes etc until I went through the entire five colors and these are the colors that we got so the the mixes become quite complex so the thinking here is if you use any of the three of these colors you'll have really interesting colors and um, yeah so let's do that so here we have first the chartreuse the key here is to have a similar quantity of all three colors so that's probably roughly there and then cobalt so I'd say that's enough okay now all three together let's see what we get personally I quite like this mix so I'm gonna go with that this is gorgeous again cobalt tea magic is happening and if you compare the centers you'll see how different they will look I have three different sizes of the centers in my color palette and I designed it so that you have that variation. I'm just going to push things around a little and maybe just pick some up and add a little bit of water just to get the granulation going okay again look into the tray gorgeousness I don't know if you can see actually it looks a lot more interesting in in real life because we've got like a painting like a pattern there I hope it translates well to the screen all right I'll see you in a second when they're dry so they are now dry and I'm going to show you nice close-ups and hopefully you can see the beautiful pigment separation coming through it starts a little bit here but then it goes quite obvious in these areas same thing here the closer they are to the cobalt teal the generator of the pigment separation here the more obvious it is and then the closer it goes to the other color you will see less of the cobalt teal pop through but for instance these greens here I love them and this becomes a very very special green that big brands will charge you quite a lot for it 
so you can create loads of your your own pigment separating interesting colors and then well there's not much to report on this side of the color wheel nothing too much interesting going on although these colors are perfectly pretty but the granulation here is gorgeous we have a lovely strong granulation there popping through so let's have a quick look at the other green so hopefully in comparison you can see it's more grayer but again you can shift this color any way that you want to do as i showed you um, and find the color that you like because sometimes um, a color can be a little bit off for my liking so i don't like putting it in the middle and therefore i will sort of change it up a little bit push it to one or another side to make it um, a color that i like so also quickly i think i quite prefer sort of this look with leaving a gap here um, i just would need to work on it a little bit in terms of <laughs> spacing but it looks quite neat i really like this one um and then the different sizes that i wanted to show you you got the large size you could do really big um, center you could do the one that i did or even smaller this big circle can also be used inside the color wheel so you can use it to divide the color wheel into two halves for example you could have a darker and a lighter or you could have one where you add um, white to and turn the same colors into pastels. That's a lot of fun. So lots of different things you can do. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.